Ambrosius Kanji leaves behind a legacy in local boxing that is nearly immeasurable. He had been involved in the sector over many years before switching to the political arena, becoming a counselor. Upon hearing about his sudden death, family, friends and his lawyer started gathering at his parents' house close to single quarters in Katatura today to start mourning him. In doing so, they also remembered his contributions to sport. Kanji was boxing and boxing was Kanji. This was said by the former president of Namibia Boxing Federation, Kelly Ngikulifwa, who worked with him for many years until he became a board member of the Namibian Professional Boxing and Wrestling Control Board. It came as a shock. Uh, I was even talking to him yesterday. Uh, we were joking, laughing on the phone. And suddenly, I received the news this morning, he passed away. I was speechless. I had nothing. To, I couldn't say. I don't know what to say. No, Kanji and I, everybody who knows him well, knows our relationship. Wherever he goes, what he did everything together, wherever he goes, I'm there, wherever I go, he's there. He also played a role as a boxing development officer in the then Ministry of Youth, National Service, Sport and Culture under the eagle eye of former Director of Sport, Dr. Vetumbuavi Vei. Kanji was a doer, somebody who always wanted to get something done. The moment you give him something to, do, to, to, to be done, he will always do his, do his the best of his ability. When we had the boxing development program with the ministry, if you people who when they become world champions, they are Buddhas, the um, uh, hitmen, Moses, all those guys, with when we started from scratch, Kanji started with, with those guys really training them. Kanji also had a stint at NBC Oshiherero Radio Service from 1993 to 1996, where he established himself as an energetic youth and sports presenter of note. Many who were close to Kanji said Namibia has lost a true leader who served the country well in many capacities.